Mr. Abbott here in uh, another graphing homework help video. Um, another conversion graph. Okay, you have length in kilometers, which is the metric unit, to length in miles, which is what we use on the English system. Okay, the length in kilometers goes from 0 to 100. If you biked 100 kilometers, they'd call that a metric century. But looking at the length in miles, that would only equal 62 miles. So you see that a mile has to be longer than a kilometer because 62 miles equals 100 kilometers. Now we're going to do our range boxes divide round up again. If we look at the back of this, all right, on the back we have 35 boxes going across and 25 boxes going vertically. So we're going to plan for 35 across by 25. Now, the first variable is going to be our independent variable. So when we're trying to do this, the length in kilometers goes on the x-axis. The length in miles goes on the y-axis. You're taking a range of 100 and dividing it by 35. You divide and double. So between 2.8 and 5.7, clearly going by fives is a pretty easy interval. The other thing is, if I look at my data, everything in kilometers is a multiple of five. The miles numbers, you only have two numbers, 0 and 62. They're whole numbers. They're all decimals. So if I do this, I do 62 divided by 25. I'm looking for a value between 2.48 and 4.96. I'm going to go with 3. You could go with 2.5 if you'd like, but I'm going to go with 3. Um, both of these scales can definitely start at 0. So if I have a copy of this with it filled out, okay, this is what we're doing. We said going by fives, each individual box would be five kilometers horizontally. So every five, every dark line is going by 25s. So this is going to go from zero to 175. Um, our data goes up to 100. So this graph is going to be more than 50% of the way, but it's fairly short. Going vertically, if every box is 3 and each dark line is 15, and this is going to go all the way up to 75. An appropriate title. This is another conversion graph. So we're converting, converting length in kilometers to length in miles. Our data table is here. Obviously, 0 kilometers is 0 miles. That point's going to be at the origin. A 10 kilometer race, you'd run 6.2 miles. So this is 3, 6, and just a smidge above 6. 20 would be here, and we have to go up to 12.4. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12.4 is going to be between 12 and 4. 15, but it's definitely closer to 12. 30 is one line, 5 after 25, and 30 is 18.6. 18 is here, so 18.6 should be there. 45, it's nice that we went by fives because every line, every point is going to be right on a mark. So 45 is one line prior to 50. 27.9. All right, so 30 minus 3 would be 27. 27.9 would be just about a third of the way up. That was for 45. Our next point is 75 and 46.5. 45 is here. So 46 and a half, 46.5, is going to be halfway between 45 and 48. 
So I'm going to put this point dead smack in the middle of those two boxes. That would be 46.5. And finally, 100 should be 62. This is 60, that's 63, so 62 is going to be two-thirds of the way up. Now, we want a straight edge to connect those points. Now, I only have the this smaller ruler, but you'll see that these look like it's forming a, almost a nice perfect straight line. So because it's a linear graph, I'm connecting it with a line and I can really extend it a little bit past. So there is my graph, which is longer 60 kilometers or 35 miles. Okay, that's your first question. So why don't we start with 60 kilometers? That's here. I'm going to read up. This is 33, 36, 37. So 60 kilometers looks like it's 37 miles. So definitely 60 kilometers is longer. 25 kilometers, since I know the kilometers, I just read up and across to get miles. This is 15. I'm seeing that is slightly higher. So 25 kilometers might equal 15.3 miles. If I had a formula, I could convert it. 26.2 miles is a marathon. So now I'm given the miles. Miles is on this scale. It's going by threes. So this would be 27. This would be 24. So 26 is going to be just below 27. I'm reading it right about here. So that's between 40 and 45. So maybe 43 kilometers. So 26.2 miles equals 43 kilometers. That's based on the graph. Obviously, you could do a formula and that might give you a more exact value. A driver is going 50 kilometers in a 30 mile per hour zone. Is the driver speeding? Well, we know 100 kilometers is equal to 62 miles. That's one of the data points if we were we were given. So if I divide both sides by 2, 100 divided by 2, that means 50 kilometers would equal half of 62, which would be 31 miles. So if you were actually going 50 kilometers per hour, you'd be traveling 31 miles per hour. You would be speeding, but I seriously doubt if you would get pulled over because you're only going one mile per hour over the limit. Now, which is larger, one degree Celsius or one degree Fahrenheit? Well, you can answer this in a couple of ways, but it's definitely one degree Celsius. One degree Celsius is going to be above freezing. Okay, and you know one degree Fahrenheit is definitely below freezing. If you have a change of one degree Celsius, it's also bigger than a change of one degree Fahrenheit. So any way you want to analyze this question, one degree Celsius is bigger than one degree Fahrenheit. I hope this helped you to think about and work on this assignment.